we're so excited to have Sonia on from Real Housewives of New York and uh, just an incredible celebrity in and of her own right. Um, Sonia, hello. Thanks for joining Long Island Tea. Hello, ladies. Boy, this has been a long time in the waiting to speak to you girls. And you know, I usually don't do interviews. And even, you know, in between the show, I don't wear makeup. I don't do my hair. Um, And even, actually, I really started wearing makeup when I started doing the show. Because all the girls are so glamorous. And, you know, I feel bare naked next to them without a little something on. Um, and you know, before I was married, even I just a little, little mascara and, and lip gloss. So for me to do an interview in a cancel culture, it's a big deal. <laughs> well, we <laughs> are so, fabulous. Yeah. You look gorgeous, uh, with or without makeup, by the way. Mm-hmm. And thank you so much. And we are, uh, drinking your incredible sangria. It is so, so amazing. Delicious. Sonia sangria. Um, we're here for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It comes in red and white. It's naturally effervescent, no added bubbles. Um, which is great for us. We don't want to be bloated. And um, it has natural sugar, no added sugars. It's organic. It's everything. So I'm very surprised, you know, that it's just taken off so well. I have a great, I'm with a great brand. Christy Brinkley's with Iconic Brands and she wanted me to also be available to them. And so I met with them and it was a long time coming. We had it on the show actually for fans who watch. Uh, I had it on a couple of times. I had it at my drag queen bingo. Uh, and Ramona said she really liked it. That was the finale. And uh, it was at my fashion show. It was at Century 21 when they announced me as their chief lifestyle officer. So it's been around. And it's delicious and it's affordable, you know, which is also awesome. And it's available like all over Long Island and in the city, you can go to like your liquor store. And if they don't have it, ask for it and insist that they bring it because it's 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 perfect for the summer, summer in the Hamptons or uh, anywhere you guys have been, uh, you guys have been all over Long Island uh, on the show. Oh my goodness. And I was just there. I did an appearance for a beauty group called Beauty Fair. It was all these surgeons and and um, beauty estheticians. And oh my gosh, the ladies on the island and the boys, can <laughs> they dress? I mean, yeah. forget Paris, right? <laughs> I was blown away. Long Island knows. Natural food stores and there's the beauty bar. I don't know if you know who Daniel Diamonds is. He says this beauty bar. He's a Persian, French, hot, gay guy. He did my hair and makeup for that. And I was like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be on Long Island. And Huntington, you know, the Morgans have always had a place. Private Island out, out that way, you know, and Oyster Bay. So I know the area pretty well. But everyone's stopping for Sonia in your city, in Huntington, on the way to the Hamptons, or they may have a house in Huntington. So I couldn't be more excited for Sonia in your city on Long Island. Yeah, yeah, we're super excited. So you're going to be at the Paramount Theater. It's June 16th is the show, correct? That's That's right, June 16th. That's a what, Thursday night? And then I go to Montclair, New Jersey. Okay. which okay. is 12 minutes from Manhattan. You just take a quick Uber. I'll be at the Wellmont. And I spend a lot of time in Montclair. I love it there. I stay there and just get away into the, you know, to the, to New Jersey, the countryside. And I know a bunch of Long Island people who are coming mm-hmm. to Montclair wow. as well. Oh yeah. Well, I'm sure people probably follow you yeah. uh, everywhere you're going. And the Paramount is an awesome theater. You're going to love it. It's gorgeous. In heart of, and there's now a new hotel in Huntington. So people can actually come. And stay overnight and like walk to and from the show. You don't have to worry about driving. It's really what cute. hotel? It's called, well, it's actually a Hampton Inn, but they built it in the old town hall. So it's historic. It's so, so cute. And it's right there. Um, I just stayed yeah. at a Hampton Inn somewhere. It was so great. It was amazing. Um, maybe in Jericho. Yeah, it was in oh Jericho. Oh my God. Yeah, it's wow, right. yeah. amazing. So are all over. I love it. And you know what? You talked about how you normally don't wear makeup and everything. And I saw you because you did a cameo for Brie, our Brie, so um, on her birthday. <laughs> I knew. And it she, made my she played birthday. it for me. And it was so great. I was like, oh my God, you're I so- I think you were sitting on- Yeah, like, you're in your bathrobe your and you've got <laughs> your glasses it. on so and you're, awesome. and you were, and it was so authentic and kind and it just made her birthday. <laughs> Really well, I put a little effort into today for you fancy ladies, but uh, <laughs> when I do my cameos, I could be anywhere from getting hair and makeup backstage at Watch Fatten's Live and Andy pops in, or I could be with my interns or sitting outside in my robe or in bed. I 
love doing cameo. I don't know if you know this. I'm a top three performer there. I'm the first Bravo celebrity to join them. And they just got a whole injection of a hundred million dollars. It's taken wow. off. Um, yeah, I've been there since the beginning and I love doing cameos because I'm the person that's on Twitter at 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> you know, talking to people. So I'm happy to have cameo as another outlet. And it really, I mean, it, it really does touch the heart of your fans. I mean, it really made her birthday and she saved it and she's like rewatching it all the time. And, and they feel, you know, your fans feel like they know you because you are so accessible and so down to earth. And, um, I think that it, it's really just, it's an awesome program to really connect people with you. So it's really, I cool really, I really enjoy doing them. And I have to tell you the comments I get back. Sometimes I take a snapshot and put it out there because you, you know, I don't want to get into detail, but just let, let's just say someone doesn't know how to come out to their parents or someone is sick and having a double mastectomy. I mean, I feel like my fans have been by my side all these years. It's been what, 12 years. I started in 2009. We wow. started filming in 2008. 12 years. What? Crazy. I started filming in 2008 and I came out mid season, you know, 2009. And, um, People have been by my side religiously through ups and downs and stupid things I've done and good things that have happened and good things that have been taken away from me. So for me to be there for somebody, you know, through a divorce or whatever, get, yeah. you know, their engagement, graduation, you know, education is everything to me. And um, I think you guys know I support the LGBTQ animals, children and artists. So it's a very good way for me to be there as a crutch. Yeah, and I really and enjoy we, it. We have a segment we call Charity. Um, and, and we were going to say, like, especially because it's Pride Month right now, and you do so, so much with the LGBTQ community. And you just like, you really do it from your heart and give back. So, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I would like to be, um, if you could splice out some of this for Charity, because I feel I've always been a part of the LGBT community. Um, I, uh, you know, when I went to FIT for my bachelor's in marketing, I had three gay roommates and I was very shy from upstate New York between, you know, Albany and Saratoga area. And, um, you know, I was there for marketing, not for design. I do feel at heart, I'm an artist. And uh, I never felt like I was supposed to be there because I wasn't this fabulous designer, but they dressed me, they helped me with my nails. They, they took me out to places and just, it's been a very good experience in general as an artist and I'm in the fashion industry. Nice. I don't know if you saw Telfar, I had him on the show and I said, no, tell him. us about your fashion line though. Cause uh, I mean, going to FIT, not, not meaning to go into fashion, but obviously yeah. you're a fashion icon. Everyone watches what all of you ladies do and wear. So it's a natural fit. Well, you know, I, I, my clothes are at Walmart. They were at Century 21, 15 stores, and then COVID took out 15 stores. But I did hear the reopening. So I think my karma is pretty good with them. I'm happy to highlight them on the show again. Um, I have my, you know, notorious Crestgate slippers that people still buy every day. I get sales for my shoes. I'm coming out with a new boot. So that's Sony Morgan, uh, New York for French soul. And I saw Nikki Hilton is doing a shoe line with them too. So I'm in good company. Um, I love to drop names as you know, it's always good SEO. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so um, do we, yeah. I mean, listen, yeah, I have my happy to have you on this show, right? <laughs> but I am looking for a new, um, business partner. Cause if you follow the show, I think I've gone as far as I can here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in talks with some more, uh, you know, commercial type things, uh, maybe, you know, on television selling and then also um, maybe online selling. So there's things in the talks, but I haven't really decided uh, who to go with. It, it's a big decision. Yeah. Well, you're here on Long Island in the summer. So you're going to meet, of course, there's like business partners <laughs> everywhere. Like people are going to be throwing money at you. I was at that fabulous health food store that, you know, it cost an arm and a leg to go there, but Daniel Diamonds was treating. So I was like, I'll have two of these and four of those. <laughs> and um, I ran into this woman and she's like, I would love to talk to you about manufacturing your line. Cause I want a small capsule, very affordable, maybe even something at a Target and a Costco. But I always need to have my couture, you know, that I can sell to people who want that, you know, yeah. who are on the line of a Tory Burch or a Hilfiger yeah. or a Ralph Lauren. So both lines yes, sell very we well. Should, well we'll sh we should do a collab we do a lot of uh, merchandise collabs for discover long island so we should do like a belong or like some kind of fun collab with you absolutely yeah. i have had trunk shows on the island and you know like i said i'm at walmart's in at century 21 so um you know i'm doing good i could 
really take it to the next step now. Okay. Well, we are here for you. We are going to totally Thank hype you. it up. We're, we're your hype squad. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I know <laughs> you guys are amazing. I mean, I totally we love you. you guys. And you know what else we want to hype up is your adorable dog. Marley. I mean, Marley Morgan. Yes. 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 On Instagram. I saw you guys are following him now. And my daughter, Quincy, um, you know, it's a family affair now. My daughter's 21. She loves my sangria and, you know, Marley gets his own uh, ops now. He he's always done charity work as Milu did. May he rest in peace. So we do a lot of doggy charity work. Um, but yeah, we're all in it. What is Marley? Just so that people can follow him. Oh yeah. It's Marley, the Marley Morgan on okay. Instagram mm-hmm. and Quincy Adams Morgan on Instagram, or maybe just Quincy Morgan. She's public now. So I didn't sleep for four or five nights when she went public, but she's doing well. That's awesome. I have two daughters and one of them is going to college. And so I know you're like, I love having them part of what you do, having them, you know, be part of your brand is that's just the dream. You have a daughter in college. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Ch- well, I was a late bloomer. Okay. I didn't have my <laughs> in my thirties, late thirties. <laughs> so, uh, and I love Marley. So we had an, uh, our weather Jeff on a couple weeks ago who does the weather and he had a cat too. I don't know if you saw that of his, of his cat. <laughs> Uh, Walter Whitepaws. So I, I'm, I love it when people have Instagram channels for their animals because animals are your furry family. Let's be real. They are really a part of your family. Yeah, I like, absolutely. I'm a believer of that. Yeah. Whenever I feel a little bit stressed and, you know, I, I just go right to those videos. They're so cute. You go on the reels and you watch all these fun animal videos. They just I are so, movies, they're right? so intuitive. My whole TikTok is like, filled with dogs oh, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that and harry styles i'm like yes yeah, of course so funny and walter 18 what is it whitey, whitey 18. 18 have you did you do a duet with whitey do you do you follow Not whitey? yeah but i love the old gays they have to yes you have he does to. the barry manilow manny He's so cute uh, mandy so um well sonia this has been so amazing we're going to be at your show michael's going to be at your show we're going to cover it and we're also going to be giving away tickets to our hot tea fans yes and so we're, we're doing giveaways so we're so out. much Yes. Oh, you know what I should mention? The Sony in Your City comedy tour, we, we um, you know, I'm with UTA and I'm with um, Live Nation. So it's quite a thing now. It's a, quite an operation. And they had asked me, do you want to travel with your hair and makeup and drag queen and stand up? And I had said, no, I'd like to help the local talent, you know, people who haven't been working under the conditions of COVID because I know how that feels. Even though I was filming the whole time. <laughs> I, I mean, it was so hard. But um, back to my artist. So I use local hair and makeup and we open the show with a stand-up comedian and we have a drag queen and I try to include everyone, all walks of life, everywhere I go. And um, of course I have my cast, my castmates are Doug Wittick and uh, Matt Brooks. And we have like little sing-song skits and my typical cabralesque moves and (laughs) a lot lot of interaction because it's improv. So Mm -hmm. we count on the audience. Every show is a different show because we bring up interns. We bring up, you know, we do some sex therapy and a little Sony Sangria in the mix. So you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. Uh, No videos allowed, no photos because then I would be on guard, you know. I really want everyone to feel comfortable and silly and just let loose. Let's go and really have fun. Loose. And we're so excited. It's, it sounds like such a fun, awesome night. Again, with just you as though everybody's your bestie, yeah. right? And you make people uh, feel that uh, way, right? They really are though. They know me, you know, so well, which is why I like doing those cameo videos because they know me so well that I want to get to know them more yeah. as much as one person can. I should also mention the VIP tickets. Those are the meet and greet before. Okay. I cut those off at 99, whether we're having 700 or 1700 people, I cut it off at 99 and we do them before the show. Okay. So if you want to do the meet and greet where I sign your sangria bottle or whatever, you need to get those right away. And then the floor seats go really quickly because the yep. tickets are affordable. Yeah. Because I know, want everybody. They need to go VIP. Always like Anna Delvey from Inventing right. Anna. Always, right. always go VIP. <laughs> well, okay. that's the thing, you know, Long Island is full of VIP. So they go right. fast. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So you better hurry, get the tickets. And we're going to do a giveaway. Like I said, we're drinking your sangria. We love it so much. And everyone should be following you because you're having a moment right now, Sonia. Okay. <laughs> and there's tea coming up. You're we're not going to spill tea. it here, but you're oh going to spill God. it. Too. So it's coming up and there's so much more to come with you. 
Well, everyone is wondering, hold on. Yeah, everyone is wondering when I'm going to be back on the TV. And I just might want to mention that, you know, it was very risky filming under COVID. And we lost the backdrop of, you know, we lost our backdrop of Manhattan, basically. We couldn't film with more than 10 people and the crew had to wear masks. And it was very hard. You know, we were going through an election and my, my first focus was Black Lives Matters because that had to happen. And so everyone is waiting for me back on tv you know yeah. and my girls so yeah. hug your tvs and hang in there you know you know we can't be far and i think you'll be pleasantly surprised with what's in store and there is an article in variety magazine if you want to see what andy was um thinking about okay awesome. well we are going to be following you closely and supporting whatever your next big project is fashion line sangria tv shows whatever and we we are your um hot teas. <laughs> right. You know, I really appreciate you having me on today. I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you know, I really don't do a lot of these and I really appreciate getting the word out about the Sony in your city comedy because people are upset when they miss it. And me too. Okay. Yeah. Well, next time you're in uh, town, stop here and hop hog, say hi to us. We'll drink Come sangria together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I would love to. <laughs> All right. You, have ladies. a great rest of your day. Goodbye, Bye. Bye. Thank you, Michael. Thank no you, problem. Long Island Tea. We love you. We love you. <laughs>